Hey guys, this is your girl Dom, aka Serenity Within, and we are here with another video. And as you can see, they're nice and shiny. We are going to do my nails, so let's just jump into this video. So after I took my nails off, which took me almost two hours because, you know, I just wanted to be hard-headed and not soak them off. Now that I finally got those nails off, I want to now just do some nail care and I want to buff out my nails just to make sure that my false nails have a clean nail bed to lay on. So we're just gonna buff all of these nails out and then I'll be back. Also, really quickly, while buffing your nails out, you wanna make sure you hit that cuticle because it will make the nails just lay flatter and look more natural. So make sure you get hit that cuticle. So next, after that, I want to go in with my nail file just to make my nails even. And I like to cut my nails all the way down when I am doing like my falsies because I never had extremely long nails, so I don't even expect to have them. So I'm okay with that, but it looks better when I have all my nails cut down. So now I just want to go back and push this cuticle. I do not know what the name of that tool is. And this cuticle cutter is not... I don't think this was really for my fingers. I think it's more so for like the toes. But it did the job. And it like I'm snatching it because I felt like it was a little bit dull. But I didn't have anything else to get the cuticles cut. And then I want to go back in with my nail file just to get whatever. Because sometimes when you're cutting your cuticles, there's some skin that's there. So going back with your nail file will just get that little bit that's left. And I want to go in with my drill again and go back over that cuticle as well. So moving right along, we are now ready to put these nails on. So what I like to do is I like to just size up my nails to make sure that they're fitting. I don't want for a nail to be too small or too big. I want for it to just be perfectly fitting me. So now if you're anyone like me, like one hand is bigger than the next hand. So one finger may fit a size five while my other hand may fit a size four like you just literally have to make sure that they both fit so don't go thinking oh this size fit this finger so it should fit my other hand no make sure it fits and then after i do all my fitting i want to make sure that i am pushing my cuticle back with the false nail so that way it could look a little bit more natural so i did do one hand off camera and then i also did buff out some of the nails as well just to make sure it looks a little bit natural and it lays a lot better so now i want to go in with my nail prep and this is by jellish and i did cut myself so that's what it stings a little bit and then i also went in with the model ones nail dehydrator and i love this dehydrator oh my gosh i like this whole set so i do need to get more of their products and then I want to go in with the 4-in-1 Model 1's um, adhesive glue. So before I actually start putting on the glue to the nails, I want to make sure it fit just to make sure I even pick up the right nail. You know what I'm saying? You just got to make sure. And then I like to put the glue onto the nail, my false nail, and my actual nail. Just so we ain't got no excuses for nothing to be sticking. Everything gonna stick just right. But you don't want to put too much because then it could get really slippery. But it worked, you know, either way. And then I'm gonna let it cure for about 15 to 30 seconds while holding it. And then I'm gonna let it go, let it cure for another 10 seconds. That just lets me know it's ready. And then I'm gonna do this with the rest of my nails. And then I'm gonna put all my hands, all my hands, my, all my fingers, and allow for that to cure for one to two minutes. But you'll see what I'm talking about.
Okay, so I'm playing myself. I do need to get a bigger one and a newer one, okay? <laughs> but now that we cured our nails for one to two minutes, I want to start to use my drill to buff out the whole entire nail. This is something new. Normally, I didn't buff out the whole entire nail. Normally, I was just buffing out the part with the cuticle. But I like it so much better like this. The polish actually lasts and sticks even better to the nail like this. Like, if you haven't done it before, please try it. And it looks so much more natural. So then next, after that, I'm going in with my nail file just to give, just to clean it up. You know, I just want to give a little clean up, a little something, something to make it, you know, a little bit better. And now this is new for me because I am more of an oval girl. I am not a square girl. Like when I first was getting my nails done, when I was in high school, yeah, I was into the square nails. But as of recently, I always thought that the oval nails look better on my hand. I don't know what this way what I'm actually liking it. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going in with the base coat. I realized before doing my nails without this base coat, it was a problem. Like the polish was not lasting. And another thing I learned also when it comes down to cleaning up around my nail using acetone, make sure that when you're dipping the acetone, you're drying off the brush on your towel because the acetone is going to mess up the nail when you're curing it and it would never cure it will always be messed up so that was learned the hard way and then another thing i did differently was after i paint my nails i'm gonna cure it first and then i'm gonna put it into the, to this right here and it actually worked it's like it saved me so much time so i wanted to get a little creative i don't know what i was doing but i wanted to get a little creative and i put a little bit of red glitter on it so you mix the red glitter with some black and it's gonna come on like this burgundy shimmery color it was so pretty it really is so pretty then i went in with the models one top coat like i said cure everything now the one thing that you don't want to do is doing what i'm doing right now which is curing one finger and painting the next one while the side that's being closer to the cure is the side that's going to dry up so the more i'm painting over it i'm painting over something that's trying to dry and cure and it's going to be lumpy please don't do that okay learn from your girl don't do it but after I did all my curing and I put it into this one, I let it sit for another two, three minutes. Like when it's the last one, I'm gonna let that sit in for probably like four minutes each hand. After I wash my hands, I'm gonna go in with my cuticle oil, rub that together. I really did love how these nails turned out. I should have put like the burgundy color all over, but it is what it is. I actually like that I did some black and some burgundy but guys thank you so much for coming to my channel thank you for allowing me to entertain you as well as educate you and guys see you in my next video